Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. I'm speaking to you today with a special guest who is awake and alert and so far hasn't fallen asleep to Daddy's words, but sure enough that will change soon. I'm speaking to you with her today because our Torah portion is really all about her. Now, you might be surprised to hear me say that because the Torah portion is Bo and it has the last four of the ten plagues. And you might wonder, well, what do the ten plagues have to do with our children? But think back to the Seder. And when we relive the story of the plagues and the exodus, we always teach it as if we ourselves had experienced it. And so we teach our children and their generation so that they will live as if they had experienced it. The plagues weren't meant to punish just for punishment's sake. The plagues are there to remind us that it is for our children that these great things happen and that we need to teach our children and remind them that it is because of what God did for us that we have a responsibility to do for you. And so when I look at my daughter or my sons, I'm reminded that those opening words, Bo el Faro, Bo el Paro, go to the Pharaoh and speak to him, aren't so much about Moses back then, but they're about each of us today. Who are the Pharaohs in our lives? What do we need you to do to speak up and go and to do the things we need to do to create the future that we want? And so I go El Paro, I go speak to the Pharaoh to ensure that she will have a better life and more opportunity than I have. And I do that with hopes and prayers that she in her own time will bow El Paro, will go to the Pharaoh and speak out for her children and her children's children's sake, so that down the road we will have generation upon generation upon generation of those who haven't experienced the sadness of living under a Pharaoh but rather have tasted the sweetness of freedom and opportunity and remember from whence we came and where we're headed. Shabbat services this Friday evening will be at 7.30. Our Ruach band will be leading us in worship. I hope you'll join us here at the temple. Saturday morning services are at 11, preceded of course by Torah study at 10 and text study at 9. In the coming week, religious school kicks back up on Sunday. Uh, our American Jewish Communities class will take place on Sunday and all of the usual activities are back up and running. For now, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom, a new year filled with joy and happiness and good health, and the opportunity to Bo El Paro, to go to the Pharaoh for our little one's sake, so that they will have freedom and opportunity and joy and won't have to suffer as our ancestors once did. Shabbat Shalom. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.